What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. We are finally getting to put the new wheels and tires on the Tacoma. Earlier today I finished off with the lift and you will see that in the last video. But in today's video we are just going to be putting on the wheels and tires and I'm going to be going over all the specs uh, and the fitment because I did a lot of research and hopefully this video can help you guys. So I've gotten about halfway through installing the wheels and tires. Uh, here on the driver's side, you can see we have the factory TRD off-road wheels. And you can see kind of how they fit in the wheel well, kind of in maybe three or four millimeters. Moving over to the passenger side, we have the aftermarket wheels, which are these beautiful guys right here. So I'll be going over the specs of these guys in a little bit later in the video. But here is how they look sitting on the truck. So a little poke, maybe three or four millimeters out as opposed to the other ones. So I'm gonna get uh, finished with installing the rest of the wheels. So it's now uh, a lot lighter outside so I can show you all the wheels and the setup and kind of go over all the specs of how I got this all to fit. Uh, ended up coming by Alex's shop to show him the truck and here it is. In the light it's a lot easier to see uh, the color difference between the cement and this like kind of bronze that RRW wheels has. Going over the name of the wheels and the specs on them, these are RRW RR7-H, which the H, <laughs> it's, no, it's a long name, it's no a long way. name. But the H basically means that it's a hybrid wheel. So you have the option to do a standard bead uh, around the center, or I guess around like normal on the wheel, but you also have the option to do bead locks, which is what all these holes are that go around the outside. So you can now mount your tire here where my fingers are and then put the beadlock ring on top of that and then it becomes a kind of a traditional beadlock on the outside. Now the specs on these, these are 17 by 8.5 with a zero offset which means they're basically the same fitment as the TRD Pro wheels so they kind of give you a nice flush appearance. Now going over the tire size, I really wanted to do kind of a 33 inch tire because I think that's just the perfect size for these Tacomas. So I ended up going with a 285 70 17 and these are the BF Goodrich uh, KO2s, wherever it says it on here. Uh, and these are a C load range, which means they're gonna be actually a six ply tire. I've driven the truck on the road for most of today and really it drives a lot more stable on the freeway with the upgraded Bilstein suspension that I have. The truck drives a lot uh, stiffer than the factory off-road suspension which I kind of like, it gives you a lot more control on the road. Looking at the side profile of the truck, uh, with the, these wheels and tire specs, you get this perfect centering appearance uh, on the rear fender, as well as the front fender. The only downside to doing a lift in the front and kind of the larger tires on these Tacomas is it tends to make your caster a lot more negative. So with that being said, it is always good to consider upgrading your uh, upper control arm so that you can recenter your caster closer to zero, if not higher than that. If you are kind of just cruising your truck and you're not doing anything serious with it or mostly highway speeds, this isn't too big of an issue. However, it's definitely something you should upgrade. So I got the truck back from the alignment shop and after them doing their best to recenter uh, the camber and the caster back to factory, factory specifications, we finally have the final adjustments and this is what it looks like. As you can see up front, the max uh, camber that I was able to get was a positive 0.5. Uh, that's not extremely ideal for this truck, however this is going to be okay for, for the time being until I can get some upper control arms. The rear alignment was perfect, it's, it's perfectly to spec. Uh, don't need to worry too much about adjustments in the rear, however with the front, like I said, um, the way that it's set up in these Tacomas is you do have to trim some of this over fender because it wraps down and it comes inside the fender well a little bit and there's a little addition of plastic here that you can trim with a straight edge razor uh, and once you do that you have full range um, under compression and just general driving with this front wheel uh, when it is turned inward and there is no rubbing issues up front uh, totally clear up there. If you watched my last video I will link it up here to show you guys the install of the Bilstein 6112 and 5160 in the rear of the Tacoma. The driving experience without these wheels and having the factory wheels on with that setup uh, was definitely a lot stiffer than the factory Bilsteins because this is a TRD off-road. What I noticed was there was a dramatic re reduction in body roll and the rear of the truck was way more planted. It didn't bounce around when I was driving on the road, even without any weight in the rear end. 
Now I have about 100 to 200 pounds of weight in the rear of the truck and with these upgraded wheels and tires it makes the ride a little bit smoother because of the larger sidewall and tire. Being that these are a true all-terrain tire, they are a C-load rating, which means they're a six-ply rating. Uh, they are a lot heavier than the factory wheels and tires. I believe the total combo here, what I have is the tires uh, and the wheels combined is gonna be around 70 to 80 pounds, and that's gonna be about a 10 to 15 uh, pound increase from this, the factory wheels and tires. Uh, it's all gonna be variable on based off the wheels you get and the tires that you choose. With this setup that I have right now, I've noticed a reduction of two to three miles per gallon average on the truck. Now, if that's super terrifying to you, there is always the possibility that you can tune your truck and that will bring back some of those miles per gallon. Between the wide range of tunes that you can choose from, you can regain that two to three miles per gallon average. But that is basically going to be it for today's video. I'm very happy with the setup I chose and I highly recommend this setup if you want something that is uh, friendly for daily driving and just cruising around as well as having a good capability off-road. If you have any questions about my setup with the Tacoma, feel free to comment down in the, the comment section down below and I will try to get back. So once again, thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next one.